Welcome back to Spread Puddin'. Let's make a new dice roller, but this time in Google Docs, which is a pretty versatile piece of software. So, uh, dice roller. It'll be similar to the previous one, a little bit better quality. Similar functionality. I don't like how that worked. So for this one, let's start out here. I'm going to split up the, the functions so that they're more clearly presented. So first we're going to start out with the standard notation for die that is typically used in games. And then we'll just do these six. So the first thing we want to do we have our na the name of our die, d4, d6, etc. We want to split the sides from the name. So we'll do that by using the mid function. And as you can see here, it pulls up a description of the function. So for mid, we need the text that we want to split, the start point, and a number, which is the number of characters that we want to pull from the text. We're going to have to use another function inside this one to get that last number. So, first of all, our text, pulling it from A5. And then we want to start from the second character, because our first one should be discarded, which is a D, so second. And then for this, because our sides have different number lengths, we need to pull the amount of numbers that we want using the length function. So we're just going to base this last parameter off the length of the text. And of course minus 1 to get rid of that D again. So A5 minus 1. And this should just pull 4. Excellent. So now we have our sides. Let's make sure that it works for the D20. Okay, pull that. Now we need a random number. And again, it's the same in Google Sheets as it was in Excel and OpenOffice. It's just rand. Here we go. Returns a random number between 0 and 1. This is a zero parameter function. Don't have to enter anything special. There we go. And then we need a result. And we'll get that by multiplying our random number by the number of sides, and then rounding that to the highest integer, to the next integer up. So to round up, we need to use ceiling. And then we do b5 times c5, and the next parameter in the ceiling function is um, the significance of the digit we're rounding to. So we just want to round to the nearest ones digit. And there it is. You can hit delete or backspace and that will refresh the sheet to give us a fresh random number. Now we just need to copy our info into the remaining die. And there it is. There we go. Got all these random numbers here. Thanks for watching Spread Puddin'. This document will be posted to my um, shared Spread Puddin' drive on Google Docs. You can find a link to that in the um, spreadpuddin.blogspot.com blog. All right, thanks, thanks for watching.